Okay, let's talk about embracing change. You see, I've got chickens in my backyard at the moment. I've got about four chickens, and I've been studying these chickens as they go on day to day, and I couldn't help but notice that they seem to be stuck on a set schedule. They wake up at a certain time every day. They dig around the backyard looking for shit to eat every day. They do this pretty much the same stuff every day. They go back to their coop at the same time every night. So this puzzled me and I was thinking maybe these things are actually like robots or something. Maybe they're just, you know, there's no consciousness there. They're just programmed. But then I thought about people and people are the same. If you were an alien and you were observing the human race or an average human being, you would think that perhaps they were robots as well because we do much of the same stuff. We wake up at the same time, generally, for work. We get into the car, we take the same route to work. We do a lot of the same shit every day and rinse and repeat for years on end. So I started thinking about why is this? Why do we get stuck in a lot of these habits? And of course the obvious answer is because it saves energy. If you had to think about doing something every single time you did it, this would take up too much thinking, processing power, it would take up too much energy, and it would just be inconvenient. It's much easier to automate a lot of things that are necessary and leave it at that. But the problem that arises from this is that when we want to um, get beyond what we have in life, or we want to achieve great things or become a better person, this becomes a hurdle. This becomes something we have to overcome because we are so stuck in our habits. This is why I started practicing the art of getting out of your comfort zone, embracing change. Let me explain what I mean by this. In order to embrace change on the macro level, you need to first target the micro level. Now, mainstream personal development has this reverse. They will have someone who is shy and reserved feel like in order to get out of their comfort zone, they need to do something audacious. They need to be bold and confident and make a full 180 degree turn at the flip of a switch. Unfortunately, life does not work out like this. This is not how the real world works. Change is something you have to work on. It's something that you progress on over time. It doesn't happen instantaneously. And anyone that will have you believe that anything like this happens instantaneously is full of shit and they're probably trying to sell you something. Now back to the topic. So the micro level, what is that? The micro level is just the small things during the day that you can do that will help you change. That things that are stuck in your routine that you have been doing for years that maybe it's time for you to switch it up a bit. For example, this could be driving on the same route, like what we said before. Perhaps in order to embrace change, you can try to find a different way to get to work, whether it be different route or using public transport or using a taxi or something, just anything, riding a bike, anything that's different that's going to offer a different experience. Maybe in class, you sit next to the same group of people every day, every week for the past three years. To change, sit next to someone different, someone interesting. Study with the smartest person in your class. Study with the funniest person in your class. Just study with someone that's not the same as who you usually study with. Or maybe at your favorite restaurant, you always get the same meal. Get something different. It's just all these small things that seem trivial that do add up in the long term. Because each time you do something that's out of your comfort zone, each time you do something that you don't usually do, You're building up that confidence. And in the future, when something big comes up, when you really have to stretch yourself, you will be better prepared for it because you've been doing it every day up until this point. So it won't seem like such a big leap. You won't be stuck in your habits. And also, this is a way to exercise your willpower as well. The more you exercise it, the better you will be at using it. So always look for ways on the micro scale to embrace change. Always look for new music to listen to, maybe a different type of movie to watch, a different type of book to read. Anything that challenges you 
to be a bit different, to learn something new. And I promise you, you will see the difference in a couple of months. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe. Peace. Just do it!